Hello. My name is Dorota Wojtuś. I am a teacher trainer in Lot Center of uh, Teacher Training and Vocational Education. I work as a consultant uh, for advisor for ICT education in our center. During today's webinar, I would like to show you how to use open educational resources uh, in your didactic work with students. After the webinar, you will know how to search for information you need, how to work with the internet network resources, how to cooperate with other teachers or students using information from the internet, the, what tools you can use, how to publish your own materials or materials produced by students, and you will learn something about tools which help you to check the level of knowledge of students uh, and assess them. Searching for, for information. Searching online resources seems to be simple. However, the quality of the information which uh, search engine will allow us to find depends on what keyword we type. After entering the keyword, we get links to many pages, but finding this right information will only depend on us. Let's choose, for example, the own company keywords. We can find information on how to open your own company, how to manage it, what kind of business to choose, but we can also find support for setting up our own business. I try to show you how I found it. Okay, I type in searching engine uh, own company. Find. You know, the difference between searching and finding is very, very huge and very, very important. For example, starting a business step-by-step -step guide. This is guide how to rise up your, your business. Okay. A teacher is an expert. Before, uh, before we recommend your students to use the web page that the search engine suggests us, we should check the substantive uh, correctness of the information on this page. Uh, it is the teacher who is an expert and he suggesting students to use online resources must, must first check if the information which the students will find is correct and useful for him. Uh, it's safe to use only materials uh, on Creative Commons license. We can use it to, without thinking what to do with it. Simple uh, research results, search results. Here are examples of place to use. I have found them using previously given keywords. For example, Springer. Springer is a newspaper, is a um, news portal for entrepreneurship in education, but not only, of course. Sunny Empire. It uh, contains learning resources for students in entrepreneurship. Khan Academy. Khan Academy is the big portal in different languages 
where we can find materials, the tasks for students uh, for many, many subjects. Except entrepreneurship. TED. TED is the website, is the initiative uh, which presents ideas for spreading. We can find the many lectures, many films, um, many ideas um, of uh, learning, of uh, use to uh, about um, using uh, technology in learning and about uh, learning and entrepreneurship. Co-creating. Uh, before start creating resources together with other teacher or working in a group with students, we must um, ask ourselves some key questions. Am I ready to work in a team? Am I ready to compromise? Do team members have uh, appropriate competences? Do I have appropriate competences? Do we have the right tools for teamwork? Do we have clear goals? Think about it. Responses to these questions are necessary to determine the readiness, readiness of work in the group and the division of tasks between its participants. Both the selection of group members and the right tools is necessary to achieve success in your work. There are many tools on the websites that will allow us to work in groups, to co-create one document, to collect sophisticated information and uh, prepare one common message in digital, digital form. In the Microsoft 365 uh, package, we have different tools for working groups. The most commonly used application of this package is Teams. It gives you the ability to share not only files, but notes of classes uh, and uh, writing posts or remotely combining to conduct a live conversation with the ability to share your screen. The Padlet application can be used as a virtual board on which we will post the effects of brainstorming, discussion, or other conceptual activities. Any person we provide with a board can add their post on it. Zoom is a free application that we can use for video connections in real time. We can also record our lectures or instructions and send to our students as a didactic materials. This type of tools can be found on the web. Depending on our individual needs and needs of our group and digital uh, competences of class participants. When we have uh, prepared our didactic materials and now we want to share it with our students, we must decide how we will do it. By what channel we will send materials to our students. By publishing the materials we have developed, we should remember to protect them against unwanted collection or use for non-intended uh, purpose. We can post document in a format what is not editable form. In addition, such documents can be 
secured with a password that we will provide only with an authorized person, for example, our students. Then we should give them a password for access to the document. During online work at school, our supporting our, or supporting uh, the education process through digital resources posted in a digital cloud. It is important to build in our students awareness related to copyright and consequences resulting from the unauthorized use of uh, published materials. Materials can be published on uh, open platforms, for example, your own blog, educational portals, or even your school website. We can also publish materials uh, on uh, closed platforms, I mean those for only registered user, users. It can be Microsoft 365, a SharePoint website inside this package, Google Cloud or other dedicated e-learning platforms we can install for our student. For example, Moodle platform. It is uh, open source even. We have uh, four types of intellectual property in the world. Here are the definitions. What is patent? It's exclusive right. It's not easy to get patent. You have to prove that it's innovative and only yours, of course. Trademark. On this page, you can uh, find um, much more information uh, than, than on uh, the main site. Copyright is author's right. And trade secret. Trade secrets are intellectual property. On a website uh, named Your Europe, we can find descriptions of these types of intellectual property in terms of uh, European Union law. Let's check patents. This is website Your Europe. It's good to know those things. Trademark, what is trademark and how it works in European Union law. Next, copyrights. And trade secret, of course. The last. So how we can use those open source uh, materials in education process? Open educational resources, own published materials or materials published by other teachers can be used to work with students in online mode as well 
as in a traditional um, way. As part of remote education, we can provide students with these materials by giving a link to them so that they can read the information contained there. In stationary work, in the class, we can use these materials if we have access to internet, interactive board, or student computers as a complement to work with a textbook. Students can use the material we indicate for their own work, for working groups or individual projects. Students of particularly gifted or interested in exploring topics rises during classes can be sent to extensive materials in which uh, they will find the information they need. An interesting solution for entrepreneurship teachers are website or application that allow you to simulate running a small or large company. You can use it in different way. I will present you some ideas to check the level of students' knowledge after the classes or before the classes. We, we can do it traditional and sometimes we even have to external exams or official tests then we use test prepared in paper form. There is many websites offering ready tests to use, but when we need to prepare your own test, we can use tools to prepare the test and carry it out in a remote form. Of course, it's not said that external exams can't be carried out using new technologies. However, they most often take place stationary. Here are three tools to prepare and to conduct the tests. First is Kahoot. Conducting testing uh, using uh, the Kahoot application is that the teacher creates an account on the Kahoot portal, prepares the questions, and at uh, any time in the class, launches uh, the test displaying questions on the screen uh, to interact or interactive uh, ball. Students uh, can solve the test using their own mobile phone, tablets, or with computers. After obtaining uh, the access code, they start answering on the students' screens are uh, only colorful fields uh, corresponding to the individual answers, uh, the question displayed on the screen. Therefore, they must also demonstrate the, the um, divisibility of uh, attention. I try to show you how Kahoot looks. I have to log in. And you can see it's uh, many things, but uh, I have my my cahoots, my uh, tests uh, always in library. I have also cahoots who someone uh, share to me, but uh, I have one question cahoot. It's only one question. What is cahoot for? For sharing, for testing, for co-creating, for painting. Uh, I have to, um, during creating uh, the, the question, I have to check which answer is um, correct. 
So if I start the test uh, classic mode, my students have only typed this number in application Kahoot of, uh, or uh, on a website Kahoot when uh, they uh, want to solve my test and answer on, uh, on my questions. Okay. Uh, the next uh, tool is uh, Socratic. This is my, my favorite tool to prepare and conduct tests because it is simple, intuitive and free. The website, of course, suggests uh, buying um, a paid version. However, the free version satisfies me. Uh, it is most convenient to create tests in the internet uh, browser on your computer. However, this can be done even in the application on the phone, mobile phone. Uh, the producer provides two applications for a teacher. It is called uh, Socrative Teacher and the other for the students called the Socrative Student. A teacher must create an account to create uh, and share and deliver students uh, uh, his test. Uh, the test is uh, carried out in real time. Unlike Kahoot, a student who stays outside school may participate in it. it uh, he doesn't need the whiteboard and questions uh, which uh, the teacher presents. The only thing the student must enter by logging is a um, student's name and the name of a teacher's room. Now I show you how this teacher's room looks like. I have to log in, of course. When I log in uh, like students, um, it asks me only uh, of the room name, teacher's room name. When I uh, log in as a teacher, I can use my um, my uh, Socrative. This is my room name. This is the only one thing I have to say um, my students. Um, I have uh, quizzes. I I can uh, have uh, have in my uh, library fifteen quizzes uh, in uh, free version. And only one room, but it's enough for for uh, teachers because I have a test when I can use many times. So this is a test when I uh, I launch my students to uh, to solve uh, tasks. Uh, I have to choose uh, the delivery method. If it's uh, instant feedback always check this one require names because i want to know uh, who is asking on my questions who participates in in our, our my tests of course but i can shuffle questions and shuffle answers inside the questions when the question is uh, multiple choice for example uh, i can show uh, feedback after any question. Uh, I can show them final score, but it's uh, it's very uh, easy to uh, to check and easy to assess after it. Open navigation, it's um, the method of delivery um, when students can um, back to previous uh, question. They can check and answer uh, questions and in uh, any time uh, he 
he can um, back to previous questions. Uh, in uh, this method, it's impossible. So when I deliver uh, questions, tests for, to my students, I, I have to wait uh, for uh, their answer and uh, I can check my reports. After the test, look, I have reports from uh, from 20, 20 years. I have uh, reports, oh, not this one. For example, this one, when I have much more students. Uh, I, I can show the names, I can show the responses and results. Uh, then I have uh, everything about this test. I know where it was. It was November of 2022. Uh, I, I have the names of students and I, I can check it in uh, every time. Okay, it's Socrative. And the last tool is the forms. Form is the part of uh, Microsoft uh, uh, 365. I can uh, prepare test, but uh, the form application uh, is pre um, can be solved at the convenient time. The teacher, as the author of the uh, and owner of the test, will have a preview in the response of students, uh, but. This way is um, of conducting tests among students will not give us a full picture of the level of their knowledge uh, due to the fact they, that they will certainly cooperate during, during solving. Uh, because they have time, they can do it at home and they can do it together. Uh, for the last uh, thing, uh, I would like to show you a case study, an interesting example of the project in which the virtual educational environment was created, is the Trainergy project. Generally speaking, the project concerned the competence of uh, schools of uh, school and university graduates in the implementation of energy saving operations in industry. One aim of uh, achieving open communication between academics and the industry is through co-creation. For example, through co-creation, Academia can gain useful important uh, from uh, input from industry that will eventually lead to more market uh, oriented curriculum and better prepared graduates uh, capable to the implement energy efficient operations. However, the preparation, collection, development and uh, publication of such details materials is very expensive. It is worth thinking about the source of financing before taking yourself. How we can pay for our projects. Financing, financing the development of open educational resources take place in many ways. If we fail to raise funds from external financing, we can think about publishing our materials on free services. But uh, our students are worth of our effort to prepare individual special materials for them. Thank you very much for attention. Bye.